So Anne and Tony, thank you so much for all that you've done in partnership with Cornwall Wildlife Trust over over the years. You're saying it's quite a few years now since... Well, well good 15, 20 years, I should think. It's coming on anyway, isn't it? Yeah. Liz has been visiting us for a long time. So. I think we She's, started coming out to see in about 2009, 2010. Yeah, yeah. she helped yeah. with all the... Um, our environment plan and HLS. And yes, mm-hmm. yes. It's been yes, part of the family almost. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and you're not long until you retire now. How many years have you been farming? Farming here, I've been farming here. 66 years you've been here. Yeah, 66, 66 years. 66 years. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, we've been, since we were married, 48 years we've farmed on this farm. So, so tell us about the longhorns. They, they, when you first see them, they look a bit threatening. They do. Um, People look should you keep things. a safe social distance? Or? <laughs> well, they're like all animal, all cows. You know, they're, they're, some are nice and some are very aloof, don't mm. want to know anything about you. And some of them will come up and say hello. And they're quite friendly. Mm. Yeah. We've got a bull there, he's quite friendly. see the bull, yeah. 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 So to tell us about conservation grazing, how did you get involved with it and what was the motivation behind that? Well... Back in 1989, a chap called Robin Muneer, uh, he instigated it and thought if the West Penrith moors weren't looked after, they would be ploughed up and tealed for grass or whatever, mm. potatoes or whatever. And um, that saved West Penrith moors, really, that 10-year scheme. People did, we made improvements, the hedges were built properly, gateways were put up, all the granite hedges... And um, that really set this area off as a good environmentally sensitive area. It was payments for keeping the moorlanders more, yeah. wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah, you had rough ground and clean ground, and that's yeah. the way they worked it. So. Mm. But since then, I mean, we joined then, and we've in, been in some scheme or other mm. ever since then. Mm. Yeah, we first met, didn't we, when mm. we to get you into that high level yeah. stewardship yeah. scheme yeah that's right it's yeah. all about getting grazing up on the moors and right yeah. yeah yeah so what does it involve can you tell us a bit about you know, what, <laughs> what do you do differently that might not happen elsewhere well i don't suppose we would have had the longhorns if we didn't have that okay. scheme we wouldn't have gone for them i don't think we we had suckler ordinary suckler cows of our own and they worked quite as hardy to graze the rough grazing out there but we would have found something that did, I yeah, think. But yeah. obviously we've got to trim certain places and leave some places mm. wild. And yeah. we look, watch out for for what uh, animals and birds and things. Yeah. We, so this, all those skins, you look at the areas of, of habitat mm. you've got, and you said yeah, lots of amazing areas of heathland you've got on this farm, some yeah, really it's... lovely wetlands, which I'm always really <laughs> yeah. excited about. Um, yeah, so it's about... Yeah. Um, Taking a options general. on to manage those, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And yeah. and the perfect stock to manage those because they do graze really differently to, right. to mm. yeah <laughs> to some of the more productive birds. <laughs> yeah. Than they. Yeah. And I, and I hear you've also hosted volunteer events and had well, people yeah, to the right. farm. Can you yes. tell us about those? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we we've attended several at Liz and Jan from the Wild Duff Trust have, have set up. And then we had a proper open day with them or an yeah. event. And uh, we did. Yes. We got. Um, we did like a. F- Heathland training day, yeah. didn't we? And so all the other farmers locally that had areas of Heathland came up and we sat in your big barn up yeah, there that's right, and yeah. w- walked up onto the Heathland and talked about all the different ways of managing it yeah. and what yeah. we've been doing here and stuff. Yeah. That was really yeah. cool. Yeah. And yeah. then our volunteers have been out to you loads and loads, loads of, of times. times the volunteers are, they're almost part of the family too. I usually try oh, and yeah. find a tin of biscuits for them. So yeah, they, they always <laughs> like <laughs> they always appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we, we love to see everybody come and, and they. they Work so well. I mean, Liz and Jan have been marvellous for us. They really have. Yeah. Mm. You work for our best interest. Yeah. yeah, it's been it's been a real joy and it's a real luxury to be able to go back and see people again and again and not be one of those projects that just flies <laughs> in and yeah. out. Yes, that's yes. because that's long because day. then you really know what what you see the outcomes and results. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Done a lot of work for us. Yeah, well, the Cornwall Wildlife Trust is certainly really grateful for all that you've yeah. done. So, uh, we wish you a really long and happy retirement thank you very much thank you very much